morning everybody welcome back to the channel so this is the aftermath after sheep grazing mustard uh, as you can see plenty of uh, mustard stalks there and still some straw residue underneath it kind of varies as you go across the field some places are quite uh, empty of residue uh, so for example here that interestingly hasn't got much uh, mustard stalks either whereas over here looks as if it was some sort of chopper blockage type thing because we haven't got much um, mustard either it's about less than an inch thick so as I walk across this the real question for me is how best to establish the next crop I've been really really impressed with the Claydon's new disc opener being able it enables us to use a leg or a tine uh, coulter uh, in residues long residues like mustard which uh, makes a real difference so if we take this land as an example here quite a lot of the flint content is relatively high it's not the worst bit of the field just here it's worse as we go up the hill but it does make it difficult for a disc coulter to get good ground penetration in the past we've got round this with a by a single pass of the carrier just to create a tilth no more than an inch and then coming back through with a moor or a sky the advantages from that is that it's wide drill low horsepower high work rate whereas i find myself thinking about the claydon as a single pass generates a bit more tilth but the issue you have there is it's only 4.8. It requires a lot of horsepower and generally it's quite slow. If you try going too fast, the A-share acts as a cultivator and throws the t soil so far away from the seed channel that the batter boards and spring times at the back can't get seed coverage. So it's relatively slow, which makes it more expensive. So this whole block, all of the fields you can see here, are destined for spring oats we have been uh, drilling flexi wheat which i will the results of which i will show you and just a reminder flexi wheat is a spring variety that's planted from say late october all the way through the winter whenever conditions allow so we've had some good frost which has enabled us to make some real progress However, looking at this block here, destined for spring oats, you can really see the challenge of winter drilling in the fact that a field like this, for example, that's greened up nicely, um, it, it has to be treated with glyphosate prior to drilling. So um, and there's no point in, if, if it's all frozen, then asking your spray operator to come out and spray. You need It needs to be done when... Uh, conditions aren't frozen and when conditions allow so there it is there is a degree of increased planning that relates to drilling throughout the winter your productivity is certainly reduced primarily because you can only go when soil conditions allow so it tends to be uh, from the middle of the night uh, when land freezes and then you're stopped by sort of 10 o'clock in the morning. So you don't get as big a chunk as you would in drilling in the dry, but uh, at least it helps your efficacy of your preems and cutting down on the amount of spring work. And coming back to efficacy of preems is because they're bound to get more rain and access to moisture. But then again, same same comments apply as applies to treatment of glyphosate you can't be putting drilling large areas and then not getting your preems on so the output from your sprayer and how you manage your spray applications is highly relevant to midwinter drilling This is the field we planted with the Claydon on Thursday night, Friday morning. So this is 
flexi wheat which is spring wheat variety Lennox follow, uh, following winter wheat and as you can see quite a lot of soil movement um, planted into the frost and there's the seed we're talking sort of I'd say an inch and a half down plenty of residue on the top hence my appreciation for the new disc opener on the Claydon uh, this was all sheep grazed the sheep have been out of here for for a good six weeks so going back to that video from last year about yield response following grazing hopefully we've got enough of a delay that we won't get the yield hit after grazing really pleased with this it's a 16 hectare field to get this one so we've got a block of about 30 hectare 35 hectares this one the one over the hill and there's one behind as well up there I think, and there's one just through the gap that you can see through there so um, very pleased to have got this block finished now so that was the field we were just in this is the field next door uh, sheep left this on the 4th of November I will check the drilling date but as you can see it's up and uh, rows are clearly showing residue still plentiful on the top as I walk along it is ridged a little bit in between the Claydon rows so the true believers would not be that happy with the amount of ground movement that we've achieved here but uh, it has enabled us to uh, keep going through the winter so I'm quite pleased look at that you can see the rows all the way down the field so um, this is sort of what we expect the field to look next door to look like soon so pleased with this result nice field of flexi wheat for all the uh, disadvantages associated with soil movement one advantage it does pr provide is a bit of soil mineralization David White and I were having a discussion about this last year and he had a situation where he ran a power harrow very shallowly across the field and noted what a massive difference it made and I think especially in hard uh, where the surface is compacted by sheep's feet it makes a real difference if you can get a little movement out of it with a Claydon tine versus a disc coulter so that little bit of mineralization just helps get the crop established in a way and is certainly an advantage that is often overlooked so this is the setup we have at the moment on our Claydon drill with a wavy disc opener in front of the A share so if you look here it lines it up this cuts a slot which opens up the A share and then you've got the duet coulter so the advantage is that this wobbly disc cuts through the trash and enables the leg the coulter leg to pass through when I normally um, trash would get caught around this leg it now doesn't because of the disc opener a great improvement and uh, very much appreciated that Claydon drill continues to evolve